coming upon a floating slaughterhouse. There's blood in the water. There's huge slabs of blubber being hauled up on these big factory ships. Blood is just pouring out of this pipe, and the stench alone made us all want to throw up. Suddenly, uh, Bob and I were in a small boat in front of a Soviet harpoon vessel that was bearing down on us. In front of us is eight magnificent sperm whales that were fleeing for their life. And every time the uh, harpooner tried to get a shot, I was at the helm, so I would maneuver the boat to try and block the harpoon. And the harpooner's not shooting, but eventually, somebody from the bridge walks down the catwalk and talks to the harpooner. And the harpooner nods, and the guy goes back. And Bob looks in his eyes, and he knows this guy's going to shoot this harpoon. Then he looked at us and smiled and brought his finger across his neck, and that's when I realized Gandhi wasn't going to pull through for us that day. And at that very moment, they fire the harpoon. This harpoon flew over our head and slammed into the backside of one of the whales, and, and she screamed. It was a very human-like scream, like a woman. and. Uh, and it took us completely off guard. The whalers purposefully shoot at a female first because they know that the bull whales will attack them. And then when the bull whales come to attack them, which is exactly what happened. He was waiting for them and uh, very nonchalantly pulled the trigger and sent a second harpoon into the head of the whale. And he screamed and fell back. And now the water is full of blood everywhere from the two dying whales. And as this whale lay and uh, you know, rolled in agony on the surface of the, the ocean, I caught his eye and he looked straight at me. And we're looking into the eye of this huge sperm whale. And I, I have to tell you, it, it's sort of beyond emotional. You know, when you there's certain moments that are so emotional, you're just in brand new territory. Why were the Russians killing these whales? You know, they didn't eat sperm whale meat, uh, but they did use the spermaceti oil to make um, high heat resistant lubricating oil for, for machinery. And one of the pieces of machinery that they used it in is the manufacture of intercontinental ballistic missiles. And I said, here we are destroying this incredibly beautiful, intelligent, socially complex creature for the, for the purpose of making a weapon meant for the mass destruction of humanity. And that's when I, I came to me with a, you know, like a flash of, we're, we're insane. We're just totally insane. And from that moment on, I decided that I work for whales. I work for seals. I work for sea turtles and fish and seabirds. I don't work for people. <laughs> 